everybody out there in the world. Um, it is good to see you. <laughs> uh, anyways, I actually can't see you, obviously, but uh, if you could see me, you know, if you didn't have to use this camera to see, if you didn't have to see uh, me on this camera footage to see me, if you were hanging out with me in my car, it would be like, right now, it would be like we were hanging out together on the road, on the open road, the closed lane, open road, bumper rails, uh, freeway of metaphors in the simplest of uh, ideas. What of you, you know, if you could see through my eyes right now, you'd have decent vision because I'm the only person in my family without glasses. And uh, that's the truth, uh, I guess. I mean, I have these glasses, but I'm talking about like vision correction glasses. And I guess I'm bragging now. Am I bragging? Um, it's uh, the end of summer. We're looking at 82 degrees out, according to my car. It's, uh, what time is it? Something that's 1233, according to my car, which my car uh, is not on satellite time. It's on uh, pre-programmed time that oh, now I have to pay attention to driving. Do I want to take this exit? Yeah, I think I do. Let's see. Uh, always looking for an exit. You're always, I'm always escaping from escape in this car. Oh, I think I'll take uh, this last minute. Does the guy behind me hate me? Maybe. Uh, is hate a strong word? It is a strong word. Let's not let's not assume too much. Um, let's not assume anything. Actually, let's not uh, let's not make let's have our opinions thoroughly examined. Um, and is it my opinion? It, it might be my opinion. Um, right now, uh, the sky is blue. And uh, there's some mesh around me, let's say on a fence, and some pigeon, um, anti-pigeon hardware. Hardware. I'm in uh, South Seattle, so it's very industrial. There's a lot of semi trucks and concrete and asphalt and uh, cement. There's cement factories, a lot of cement factories. Uh, you know, if you keep going south, there's Factoria and Tukwila. There's not a lot of 24 hour places in in Seattle, which is a totally a non sequitur. Like I, I'm just thinking about like Randy's on, on Tukwila. It's like Tukwila Boulevard or no way, it's more like it's on the way to Boeing Field and the Museum of Flight, but it's this 24-hour diner that might not exist in, uh, I don't know, five years. There's only like four 24-hour places in Seattle, maybe five. You got uh, Lost Lake, the North Star. Um, the Five Point. If Randy's is a place, it's Randy's as well. And uh, you got Beth's Cafe. That's five. Um, there was a place in Georgetown called the Square Knot. That used to be 24 hours. Um, R.I.P. I guess. But I feel like uh, popular, unpopular opinion. Um, Seattle needs more. Seattle needs more 24-hour places, even just to hang out. Even if it's like all ages, but there's a bouncer that cards people. Even something like that. I'm, I'm totally game for that. That's my opinion. That's my opinion, and maybe my opinion should be examined, you know? Uh, that's it. I'm going to go visit a cake bakery for my first time. Uh, it's 
uh, Cake and Cupcake Bakery. Uh, does that seem like a Seattle thing? I, I think so, especially if it's indie. If it's an in, if it's not, if it's not Trophy, if it's not uh, Royale, if it's uh, I don't know the other ones. Uh, whatever. Uh, that that uh, that's it. I'll talk to you next time. Uh, same shaky camera, same shaky uh, personality. Uh, I've been Robbie Schrader. You've been an audience on YouTube.